All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use KLWP, Custom Live Wallpaper, to create your own cell phone signal bars. Uh, there is a video online where I saw where each individual rectangle is created, and then we applied some, some coding to it to make them all light up, but I'm going to take a slightly different approach. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the progress bars to do this. Now, let me show you what happens to my cell phone signal when I have no service. So let's uh, cut airplane mode on. That'll kill the cell phone service. And yeah, Wi-Fi cut out too, but it's supposed to. But give this a second and it should, sh there you go, no service. That's my indicator of no service. All the bars light up almost as if you had full service, but I make them turn red because, you know, that's just an indicator of no service to me. That's how I chose to do it. And that's how I'm going to show you here. Of course, you can change some of these things to your liking and uh, yours can be different. So let's go ahead and have a look. But before I do that, let me cut airplane mode off. That way you can see that we do have service getting returned. We have two bars right now. So in custom live wallpaper, if I can get to it. Let's start with a clean slate, or I'm going to at least. So a new preset. And I'm going to go ahead and jump straight into it. Let's create some global variables first. And for the sake of this video, I'm going to use the same global vari variables that I have over here. I have two colors. This stands for global variable. Uh, GV, well, I don't want to do GV. I just want to call it red. And then I want to create one more and call it green. And you can call these whatever you want. You might want to call them no signal and signal. And then you can change these colors right on the fly and it'll adjust your cell phone bars that you have created once we create them. Now let's go ahead and get our colors. So red, reds, that's good. Green, that's good enough. And now let's go back and let's create an overlap group. Um, I create an overlap group that way I can start centering it, moving it left and right. If you want to rename this, feel free. Um, this is really unnecessary, but I'm going to do it anyway. A little OCD. So signal. And then inside of that overlap group, this is where we're going to start creating our bars. Now, like I said earlier, I have seen the one where you create each individual rectangle and you apply codes to it, but I'm going to use progress bar. And let's go ahead and put this in the center of our screen just to make it easier to see. And let's create the shape first. Go ahead and create the shape that you want. Then we'll come back and apply all these codes. Um, it, I've come to find out on my phone in particular that I can have a cell phone signal up to five. So I want five bars. And the way we do that, um, back here in our progress, we want to do a custom progress because we're going to actually, we don't definitely want to do battery. You know, look at your other ones that you have in here. Minutes, seconds, batteries. We want to do a custom because we create a cell phone signal. Now, we want to break this thing up. For mine, since I have five bars, I'm going to break it up into five sections. And we need to change our progress. I should have done this first. It's no big deal, but we want to split it. We want to split it into five sections. So there we go. We have our five sections. And as I adjust this slider, notice the bars are changing. But let's make this a little bit easier to follow. So style, let's... um. The width of the bars, I think that's pretty good. Right around 50 was fine, wherever you want it. Um, size, you can make it bigger, smaller. I'll make it nice and big so we can follow along with it. We want this thing to grow. But right now, it's like it's growing from the center. You know, it's growing symmetric to, to this little mouse that I'm moving across here. So I want, in my case, I want it to be aligned. Let's see. Let's try aligning it from the bottom. There you go. Now you're flat across the bottom, so it's growing from the bottom up. That's looking like a cell phone bar or cell phone bars. Now here's where we're going to have to uh, allow the uh, KLWP to do the work for us. You notice as I move this here, my bars are changing, and which is fine. That's what we want it to do. Now we have to actually apply a code to make this do it automatically. And that's where this is going to come into play. How many bars are colored? In this case, I have three bars colored. Look at the number I have down here for three bars. I'm at a level of 45. Now notice if I want three cell phone bars, this is really a, a way, this is why I did five sections. 41 on this one. Well, here's why. Let's start back at like one. 
If I'm at one, I got one bar color. If I'm at two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way up to 20, right there at 19 is when I have one bar, 20 is when I have two bars. Notice two bars is going to stay all the way up, and I'm going to go all the way to 39. Notice I still have two bars. When I hit 40, I go to three bars. So essentially, these numbers that I have over here, you could change these numbers. Um, so I have three bars, and I have three bars at 41. Now, my cell phone signal is three, but since I have five bars, one bar, two bars, three bars, four bars, five bars, it, that, that number right there can change. It could actually be 42, 43, 44, all the way up to 59. Notice 59, my bars haven't changed. When I hit 60, bam, we're at four bars. So essentially, I had 61 in my code. Well, notice 61 still going to re return a four bars to us. And then a full signal, like I said on my phone, uh, I did notice sometimes I would have a cell phone signal of five. And that will kick in right after 79. Look at 80. Notice we have uh, full service. Now, these numbers can change. Now, you might say, okay, well, what about the no, uh, no cell phone service? If I have no cell phone service, I want to return a value of 99. Well, let's see what happens if we're at 99. If we're at 99, I have all my bars lit up. But if you remember earlier in the video, I did have all the bars lit up when I cut it in airplane mode, but I had that color kicking in as red. That's where this comes into play. If my cell phone signal was zero, I want the bars to turn red. Otherwise, I want the bars to turn green. So basically, no cell phone service, I want to see red bars. Otherwise, I want to see green bars, which means I do have some type of service. So these things kind of work together. Cell phone signal zero, all the bars are going to light up, but they're going to light up red. Cell phone signal is full, the bars are going to light up green because the cell phone service is not zero. So notice these two things are kind of working together. But we have the look that we want now. Let's make custom live wallpaper do this stuff for right here automatically. So what we want to do at the level, I'm going to check that box. Let me uncheck that one up there, but check this one. I want to apply a formula, and that's where you would type this in. How many bars are colored? So we're going to get some type of number. And let me show you down here under NC text. Uh, now, it says right now, my cell signal from 0 to 4, I'm returning a value of 3. So if I copy this code, this whole code, I should see a 41 pop up unless this thing changes on me while I'm doing this video. Now, this is where Custom Live Wallpaper told me from 0 to 4, but I have seen a 5 return before, so that's why I chose to put a 5. Sometimes my cell phone signal did show a 5 down here, not just 0 to 4. So let me copy and paste this. Now, if you're learning how to use formulas in custom live wallpaper, notice it did return a 41 because our cell phone service, our cell phone signal's three. And it says, if the cell phone signal's three, return a value of 41. That's exactly what we have right there. Now, like I said, I could change that 41 to pretty much anything between 40 and 59. So I could change this to a, a 59 if I wanted to. And since my cell phone signal's three, it's going to return that value of 59. If my cell phone signal were to change to like a one, if the cell phone signal's one, return a value of one, which is going to essentially be one bar. But I'll tell you what, I'll keep this at 41 just for the sake of this code. But you have a wide range of numbers in there, so you don't have to return one value in particular. So let me check this. Notice we have three bars, so if the cell phone signal is three, return a value of 41. Notice we have a value returned of 41, and we have three bars lit up. Now, um, something I should have probably have mentioned here before, um, well, I think I did mention it actually. Um, from like 1 to 19, we would have this one. 20 to 39, we would have this one. 40 to 59. So anything between 40 and 59, any number between 40 and 59 will return three bars in this case, the way I have it set up here. And 60 to 79 will return four bars. So four bars, I got a 61. But I could have done anything between 60 and 79 and I'd get the same result. And five bars, anything 80 or higher. 
So I, at full service, I have a value getting returned of 81. But then again, I did mention about here, I'd have all my bars lit up here as well um, if I have no signal. That's where we're going to apply these colors. So let's go over here to color. The background color, you can make it whatever you want. Um, let's see, let's make it something that will, uh, probably your best bet is leaving it the way it was, like a gray or something where you can clearly see a difference. And you'll definitely see a bigger difference once we start applying these, green is, these greens and reds. Now I want this to change. Um, I want custom live wallpaper to do the work, so I'm going to use a formula here. And this is our color. So I'm just going to type this one in. I'm typing in that right there. So if, so applying our formula, if is cell phone signal is equal to zero. Now up here, if the cell phone signal is equal to zero, all my bars are going to light up. But now I'm telling it what color to light up. I want those bars to light up global variable. Remember, we established a global variable of red or whatever you chose to name it. Otherwise, I want it to be green. And these are those global variables that we created earlier. Now, be careful. Make sure you're typing in your formulas correctly. Don't forget your dollar symbols, extra parentheses, and all that stuff. But KLWP is pretty good about, like, if I left off a parentheses in here, it's going to tell you um, you have an error. So you got to get those things lined up and matched correctly. So again, here's what this code means. If the cell phone signal is zero, I want my bars to be red. Otherwise, which means if I have service, I want my bars to be green. So since I do have some service and I'm looking up here, it looks like I got two bars right now. Um, more than likely, now it might not update it on the fly. When you're in custom live wallpaper, sometimes this thing will not live update. Up here, it looks like I got two bars. Down here it says I got three, and, and it, it might be a little off in here, but again, it's, it might not update live when you're inside of the program. But I got three bars. Let's save this, and let's go back to our home screen. And like I said, you know, it, you saw the, the cell phone signal up here. It was two bars, and now we're showing two bars. And these two codes that we've applied, it's going to change this thing on the fly. So we didn't have to create one, two, three, four, five separate rectangles. We used the progress bar in order to create this thing. And now let's just double check. Let's cut airplane mode on and let's see if all the bars. So when we cut airplane mode on, what's going to happen? It's going to return a cell signal of zero. I'm going to get all my bars lighting up in a second and all those bars should turn red since my cell phone signal zero. And as you can see, that's exactly what we have right here. Cutting airplane mode off, it should go right back to where it was. And there you go. So right now I'm only having one bar, very little service, but and two. And you can see it updating on the fly. Now, one more thing to show you about the global variables. Throughout this whole video, you know, I had my signal showing green and I had no signal showing up as red, but let's see what happens now. I just want to throw out that whole global variable. I want to give you a fun fact here on ways of probably properly naming them. But uh, look, look what happens now. No signal. We got blue bars. A while ago, we had red bars. Well, here's all I did. So back in custom live wallpaper, if I can get back to it. What I had done is it, I didn't change the name of the global variable since I've already established that. Uh, I could, you can't change the name of these. You'd have to create new ones. But since I'd already back here in our coding, remember our coding we did earlier? Um, what did we go to? Uh, under our progress bar and color and underneath our formula, we had already named our global variables red and green. Just because the global variable's name red doesn't mean it's going to return a color that is red it's going to return the color that you picked for this global variable. Just like this one here, just because it says global variable green doesn't mean it's going to return a green color. It's going to return whatever color you picked for that global variable. With that in mind, it might not be a bad idea, and this is just a uh, maybe a lesson learned here. Um, maybe you might want to create one that says signal, and you might want to create one that says no signal. Now you won't be getting confused 
with red and green. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll go ahead and delete these, but when I delete these, what's going to happen is it's going to take away my colors because I'm losing those colors that I had picked and I'm losing those global variable names in my formula. So watch what happens. I delete those off. It's probably not going to update it right here on the fly. But look, let's go ahead and establish what colors we want to see when we do have a signal. That's probably a better name here. Um, it's worth mentioning here. So when we have a signal, suppose we want a color that's like a light blue when we have a signal. And when we have no signal, suppose we want to have a color, I don't know, um, no signal, let's do like a, a pink or whatever color that is. But now, nothing's happening. Nothing's happening here. I'm in airplane mode, so I should be seeing no signal. I should be seeing all pink bars. Um, again, the program doesn't update it automatically. We'll have to save it. But before we do that, we're going to have to actually go back and rename our colors. Because I changed the name of my global variable, I'm going to have to go back in here and change the way my formula was written for color. So let's go back in here and look at this. Remember, we deleted these. We deleted these global variables. So now if my cell phone signal zero, I want to return the global variable that's called no signal. Notice I'm starting to get a code popping up. Otherwise, which means, hey, if I do have a signal, I want to return the global variable that I have now named signal. These are probably better names to use. That way, if you call it red and green, you might want to change the color and then you might start confusing yourself. Um, if I haven't already confused you already in this. But nonetheless, it's a fun fact. Maybe take it as a lesson learned here. I sure am. So saving that, look, we're in airplane mode. We, cut, we had no signal. What do we have no signal as? Let's go back and look at our global variables one more time. No signal, we called it, or we established that pink color. And for a signal, we should see some blue. So now if I apply this, I've renamed my global variables. I've renamed them in my formula within KLWP. So now, no signal, let's cut airplane mode off. And now we should start seeing that other color that we established. There you go, the blue. And remember, we didn't really mess with the background color too much. We left it as a gray, but you can establish a global variable for that too. But uh, there you have it. That is how you create cell phone bars in KLWP using the progress feature. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.